All right, so after you get that quest from Zavala, what you're going to want to do is go to the Tangled Shore, and we're going to do this exotic quest, the Presage. And what I'm going to be using is the Heritage, the Death Adder, and Anarchy. And if you don't have that, any name launcher will do. Um, I only use Anarchy because at the boss, there's a weird mechanic, and I'll explain it when we get there, but you'll see why I use it. It is for a good reason. And this part, there is a lot of like puzzle mechanics, so I'm going to try to show all of that and cut out like the boss fights and the ad clearing that I do, at least for the most part. Um, just to make this video shorter, because it is going to be a long one, because this mission has a lot to it, and it's a little confusing at first. But after like the first two or three runs I did, you learn it pretty quick. Um, so it isn't too bad, but I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet. So what we're going to do is right off the bat, we're going to go to the left here. And there's like a little jumping puzzle here. It's not too hard. Um, if I go a little fast, just maybe pause the video, um, rewind, play it slower. I'm just going to try to do it as fast as I can. I literally just woke up though. So, I mean, I'm not going to be <laughs> playing out of my mind or anything, but just try to follow where I go. Um, don't follow your death like I almost did there. Yeah, we're going to go here. Then we're going to jump up here. Then we got to go here. I said I am going to try to cruise to this, so if you need to slow it down or anything like that, feel free. I'm going to go left here. There's a hidden chest back there, but for the sake of the video, I'm not going to use it. I'm going to shoot that vent there. And then for this part, there's going to be another vent we got to shoot. Go through here. Slide under here. Going to jump up. As you can hear, there's a lot of sketchy stuff in this. Then we're going to go here. Shoot this vent. Then we're going to jump down here again. Then we got to activate this switch, which actually opens this door. But we don't need to go there. We need to go through here. So what these spores do is they allow you to go through that little weird area. So what we're going to do is we're going to shoot. We get the little buff on the left and we can actually run through. Then we're going to jump up here. Shoot that vent. And then we're going to keep running. Go here. Then we gotta jump up. Jump up again. Then right through here. And honestly, it's not too, too hard once you figure out the mechanics, but I think right here is where people will get confused. So a couple ads are gonna spawn in. These, they're higher than you in light level or power level no matter what. I don't think there's anything you can do, but they're really not hard to kill, to be honest. You'll probably die a couple times to him, but it's whatever. Um, so then you're going to activate this. We're going to run back here. Actually, no, what that does, I'm an idiot. Don't go there. After you activate that, this opens up. So we're going to shoot this. Then we're going to go over here. Yep, and then we can run through this area. We're going to jump down. These are going to spawn in again. Don't want to die. Then we got to jump up. Watch out for these things. Because they are brutal. They are absolutely brutal. Uh, Alright. Sorry, I'm just waking up. So then what we're going to want to do. We got to jump across. Shoot this. That will allow that to open. I'm going to use Anarchy here. These things, you got to watch out for them. Alright, but yeah, after this... We've got to activate the switch that's back here. Which will open up up here. And then right over here, there's going to be another switch. Just activate it. Then we got to go over here again. Jump right down. Shoot that. Jump back up. Come through here. And then this will actually open up. And this part is a little tricky. It's kind of like from Star Wars. Um, you'll see what I mean. 
there's going to be a lot of these ads that are going to spawn in here after we activate this there's going to be vents on the ground that we have to shoot that have like the blue lights that we got to find so it is a little tricky if you do die here the ads won't spawn back in so don't worry about it if you die it's not the end of the world i'm probably gonna die here to be honest so I said we're just gonna look for the blue. Yep, there's that. And I think that's all of them. I could be wrong. Alright, that's Glimmer. So yeah, this opens up right here. I am gonna get this ammo real quick. Just because. So that's all we have to do there. Pretty simple. Then we jump through here. I'm gonna slide. Jump down. And then this is where there's ads. So just clear the ads. I'm gonna cut this part because it is gonna take a couple minutes. Alright, so there it is. All the ads are cleared. So what we're gonna do. Just run here. Jump up. Gonna keep running. It's really not uh, that confusing this part. There's more ads up here, so once again, I'm just gonna cut this part. Um, there is a decent amount of ads. There's like two abomination things that are pretty hard to kill, but other than that, it isn't too bad. So, all right. So after you clear all those ads, the next thing you're gonna want to do is there's another quick jump puzzle right out here. So, I'm gonna jump here and jump to this platform, and then here we are. Jump on this ship. Go right up here. And then jump up. And you gotta be careful. I don't remember where exactly these things are, but they're those things that jump out and explode all over. So um it's like the only thing that you gotta watch out for. Alright, so next what we're gonna do here is activate this switch. And we're gonna go through that door over there. So we gotta shoot this. And then, go through here. And there's going to be a bunch of ads that are going to spawn in again. You know, what else is new? So I'm going to kill all them first. Anarchy is really good for this, as you can see. So if you do have it, I'd bring it along. 100%. Alright, so next what we got to do is activate this switch. Then we got to shoot this... Blue little crystals. Oh my god, my aim. It's this SMG, I swear. Alright, so we gotta shoot this. Which allows us to jump up here. Then we're gonna activate that switch. Come around here. It's gonna be another switch we activate. And now we can go up there, which is where we need to go. So we're gonna come right back down. Shoot this. And then we can run through this. Which opens up another room. There's going to be more ads here, so. Just be careful. I did swatch my, uh, switch my loadout to Salvager's Salvo and the new SMG. Just because... I wasn't getting like any shotgun ammo at all, so. And this thing seems to work pretty good. I mean, if you don't have this, it's totally fine. Um, you can still respawn. It's like there's... Alright, so after we clear all those ads out, there's going to be a switch that we activate over here. Which then opens up this where there is a turret and these will like laser you instantly. Uh, which actually to shoot that. Which then opens this up for you to shoot. So we're going to shoot this. You get the buff on the left. And then we can jump down here. 
There's going to be a bunch of vents now. This is where those exploding things hang out. They are all down here. And I am not trying to die to them. As you see, this place is creepy as shit. Alright, so we're going to shoot all these vents. And the vent back here is actually what allows us to proceed to the next area. So all we're going to want to do is go here. Then to the left. And then we got to go right in there. So we're going to come back here. Simply just shoot this. Then we're going to go to the left. To the left again. Then right in here, we're going to activate this switch. Which will bring us back to this room, where simply all we got to do, shoot here again. Run in. Then there's this room. There's going to be more ads, so just watch out for these things. They're the most annoying things. Another two abominations, but they're not too hard to kill. They're pretty weak compared to the other ones. Alright, so we kill those ads, and then there's going to be a switch right back here. Activate that. Shoot this. Then we're going to run right back here. Gonna shoot this. And then before we shoot that right there, I'm gonna proceed forward. Kill that guy. Try to kill this guy. All right, then we're gonna shoot this blue right here. Then there's going to be a turret right here, so watch out. Alright. And then next, what we have to do... That switch does it, opens that up, so here's what we got to do. Come back to the beginning. We're going to shoot this. Then we're going to come right in this room. Shoot this again. Get the buff. Jump right up here. Back over where we were before. We had to kill that turret. And then this is the boss fight. So I'm going to place a raid banner. I'm going to rally. So again, shoot this. Run in. Down here. And there are two levels to this room. I'll quickly explain. There are three switches that we have to activate to go down there. Because it's like a solar room where you just take burn damage instantly. So there's a switch there and there and over there. I'm not going to show the whole boss fight. I'm going to show the first encounter though and show what I do. Just for the sake of the video for it to not be way too long. Alright, so now all the ends are dead. As you can see, we activate this first switch. It doesn't matter what order you do them in. There is no specific order. Then we can go in here. Now, you do die in this room, so you gotta be quick. I'll probably die right now, to be honest. Let's see. Do we die? We do not. So that's the second one. You get, really gotta be quick in there. Seriously. <laughs> and then the third and final switch is right here. Which then allows us to go down here, as you can see from the blue. And there's three phases to his health. 
So all I do in this room is I just shoot my anarchy, shoot it with a nade launcher a couple times. And I jump right back up, because like, I'll try to show it. See, he does that move. That will like kill you instantly. So that's all I do. I show the anarchy, let anarchy do its thing, and I just hang out up here. I'll change sides if I need to, like go over here, shoot him again. Just basically the boss mechanic. It is pretty simple, so. Next thing you see will be after I kill the boss. So there we are, we kill that boss. Nice and easy, as you can see. And that is really the end of the mission. All you gotta do next is just follow this waypoint. Shoot this vent. And yeah, here it is. You just go over here. And then it will tell you to pick something up from this... Uh, dead hunter. As you can see, the weapon's right here. You steal it. It's kind of messed up, but... A my weapon now. And then I think you just go back to the vault after this and the weapon is all yours. And that's really it for this solo guide. If this video did help, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one, alright? Peace.